I've tested more than 15 cheap cell phone service providers over the years. And in our video today, 10 things that I've learned and how it can save you money. Let's get started. Number one, $25 a month is the price to be for unlimited data. If you're with Verizon, AT&T, or T-Mobile, you may be paying close to $100 a month for a single line of service on a traditional postpaid plan. But since 2019, I've paid only 25 bucks a month for unlimited data with Visible, just one of the low-cost providers I'm gonna talk about today. This Verizon-owned service has really shaken up the prepaid industry by offering family plan pricing to single-line users through the Party Pay program. It's real simple to take advantage of those savings, just sign up for the service, then after activation, join a party like mine using the link in the description. And as long as you've got at least four people in your party, pay the lowest price, $25 a month at recording time. Now this service is not for everyone. You can watch my full review video later on, but the $25 a month price for unlimited talk, text, and data is an incredible value. Number two, multi-month plans can offer big savings. Most of the cheap cell phone service providers that I've tested are prepaid carriers, and all that means is that you pay for your service in advance. Monthly plans, those are most common, but multi-month plans may also be worth considering. One of my favorites is from Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile runs on T-Mobile's network. The service has a few plans, but let's focus on the unlimited plan for now. It breaks down to $30 a month with the three-month introductory plan, which is $90 paid up front. If you like the service and want to continue, you'll need to prepay for 12 months to keep the lowest price, which works out to $30 a month. So the more months you buy, the better value Mint Mobile becomes. Moving on to number three, unlimited versus fixed data plans, which is best? Sure, most people don't need an unlimited data plan, but you may want one anyway, just so you don't have to worry about tracking data usage. I used to be one of those people who tracked my data usage, not anymore. Let me use the T-Mobile Connect prepaid plans to explain. I like these plans for very light data users because they start at only $10 a month. And that $15 a month plan with three gigabytes of high-speed data, that's not bad either. But once you get to the $25 a month plan for six gigabytes of data or $35 a month for 12 gigabytes of data, I start to wonder why you just don't go with an unlimited plan. I've already talked about two competing plans in that price range and you don't need to track data usage with an unlimited plan. Number four, network hopping may lead to trouble. There are only three major wireless networks in the United States, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. And the low cost cell phone service providers that I've tested use the same towers from one or more of those networks to provide coverage. I've already mentioned a couple examples so far. Visible uses Verizon's network and Mint Mobile uses T-Mobile's network. So let's say that you're with Verizon and you like the coverage, just not the price. I would recommend that you switch to a low cost cell phone service provider that uses Verizon's network, not AT&T and not T-Mobile. In addition to Visible, there's US Mobile, Xfinity Mobile, Twigby, Total Wireless, and more. All of these providers use Verizon's network. And I make this recommendation because I mostly hear complaints from people who are switching networks when they're choosing a cheaper carrier. So if you like the network you have, stick with it when choosing a cheaper option. Of course, forget what I said if you aren't happy with your current network or you know that more than one network performs well in your area. I'm gonna drop a link below to this resource from Root Metrics to see which network is best where you live. But know that coverage varies within a city or town. So I think it's best to just ask your neighbors about the network they use, and who knows that conversation may help prevent you from switching to a network with worse coverage. Number five, premium data is misunderstood. Yes, it's true that people who pay for the most expensive plans with Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile will get priority data. But that doesn't mean that the low cost cell phone service providers have slow data or that your data is just going to all of a sudden stop. Take a look here at Cricket's website. This four lines for $100 a month plan is one of my favorites and this is on AT&T's network. You see here though that Cricket may slow speeds if the network is busy and this type of language is common with low cost cell phone service providers especially with their unlimited plans. And through my testing of more than 15 plans and using Visible as my primary carrier since 2019, I have to say that deprioritization really doesn't affect me day to day 
it's very rare. As long as I'm able to stream video, surf the web, and use all of my apps, I really don't care if other people are getting faster data speeds. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide if premium data really matters to you. Number six, your phone options may be limited. Now with all the low cost carriers I've tested, I've been able to bring my existing phone to that service. And you should be able to as well, as long as your phone is unlocked and compatible. Most services have a tool like this one online. I'm on Verizon powered Xfinity Mobile's website and you can enter information from your phone to confirm compatibility before you switch. Wanna buy a new phone? Well, not all low cost cell phone service provider cell phones, most of them do, but I'd say the selection overall, not quite as good as you'd get with the major networks, Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. I'll stay on Xfinity Mobile's website to explain options to buy a phone because this service has a pretty good selection of phones, including the latest Apple iPhone and Samsung Galaxy devices. This carrier also has good phone deals, $400 off a of Samsung at recording time. Now, many of these low cost providers offer 0% financing if you're unable to pay for your new device in full just know this may require a credit check. Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile offer better phone deals, even free phones, as you may know. But even with those incentives, you're gonna save money with a low-cost provider over time because the service plans are just so much cheaper. Number seven, family plans offer some of the best deals. We talked about single line plans earlier. Let me touch briefly on family plans. If you've got three or more lines, I like US Mobile on Verizon's network. At recording time, it's $25 a month per line for unlimited when you've got three lines. AT&T owned Cricket Wireless and T-Mobile's Metro brand are also good options, especially if you've got four lines on your family plan. As I mentioned earlier, Cricket offers four lines of service on AT&T's network, $100 a month. Number eight, perks are harder to find. Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile offer a lot of perks with their most expensive unlimited plans. Here's a look at Verizon's website. The entire Disney bundle is included with some plans, but again, these are really expensive plans. Now, some low-cost carriers have perks and others don't. I just showed you Metro by T-Mobile a moment ago. Its most expensive unlimited plan includes an Amazon Prime membership, but other cheap phone plans stick to exactly that, phone plans. This is actually what I prefer but if you're getting a perk with your plan and you're paying a good price, good for you, great. Number nine, switching is becoming easier than ever before. So if you heard about eSIM, it stands for embedded SIM card and the technology allows you to switch providers without waiting for a physical SIM card. Here's the catch, not all phones are eSIM compatible at this point. So that is why carriers like Mint Mobile and Visible have tools on their websites to let you check compatibility. And if your phone is compatible, you can be up and running with your new service in minutes with eSIM. Don't worry if eSIM is not available with your device quite yet. Your carrier will just send you a physical SIM card in that case. We made it to number 10. Customer service is hit or miss. It is hard to find good customer support even among the major wireless providers, but you should know these cheaper options may not offer in-person customer support at all. Some of them do. Of course, you may have seen the retail stores for Cricket Wireless, Metro by T-Mobile, and Boost Mobile. And then there's Consumer Cellular. It has a retail presence at Target with some stores offering in-person sales and even support. Plus, Consumer Cellular has US-based customer service representatives. Then there are services like Verizon-owned Visible. It doesn't have any stores or even an 800 number to call for support. Everything is handled through the app, and you can receive a callback in some cases. And from my experience, most people are able to change providers without a problem and even needing to contact customer support. If you want to keep your number, I recommend that you start the switching process about a week before your current plan expires, just in case there's a delay with porting your number. I rarely have a need to contact customer service, but if you need more assistance, choose a provider that has more support options. My name is Michael. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching today.